consent. People have been asking questions. They want to know your opinion on consent because I think it's something that we're discussing right now, especially in American culture. <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts and ideas and feelings around that word, but mostly in terms of myself, it's trying to figure out what I want. And I think that's a beautiful perspective to have instead of thinking about aggressor or victim and taking that victim role, which I feel like is so limiting because it's fear. If we could come at it as, okay, I need to connect to myself through pleasure. I need to know myself sexually and then I'm grounded and I can accept the things given to me. If I want them, I can receive or I can let go of the things that aren't meant for me. I can accept yes and no. And even be creative and come up with new things that you can say yes to sometimes. There's a lot of flexibility there. There is. Uh, but we don't talk about that. Uh -uh. I mean, I really think that teaching people to say yes is kind of more important than this no business. I mean, it's easy. Wasn't it easy for you as a kid to say no? Sometimes. If we don't talk about consent within relationships, right? How do you say no? How do you say no to someone? That's kind of hard. We've made such a big thing out of penis vagina penetration. Well, because it's an act of dominance. It's procreation. And it's procreation, but I think it also gets twisted in the culture to an act of dominance. It's not sharing. And that's why you said when you can pleasure yourself and share that with a partner, and know what you want. And know what you want. Yeah. And then... That's that consent. That's the essence of consent. Oh. That's what you said. Oh, you're getting impressed by yourself. <laughs> what did I say? That's brilliant. You said... <laughs> I told you we start these conversations behind the, the thing, blue thing back here. And she always will say something completely profound at the beginning. And then when we do the video, I'm trying to lead you back there. Because I'm like, that's fucking crazy. What did I when say? When you can pleasure yourself and share that with a partner, that is consent. When you can pleasure yourself, you will know what you want, and that is consent. That is part of consent, knowing what you want. So when you're in a moment, you can say, no, I don't want that, this is what I want. But I think you... women freeze, or young people freeze, because they don't know. I love the perspective of coming at that I am a self-sexual, and receiving pleasure and giving myself pleasure then allows me to kind of go forward in life. Being able to say yes and no. And if we all do that, then we can all go through that process and there's no sexual assault. <laughs> right? It starts with your self-sexuality. If you don't know what that is and you don't know what an orgasm is and you haven't been able to develop it at all, it's compelling. And you can't even think about saying yes or no, because it's a struggle. Exactly. It, it takes on this kind of negative, borderline and violent vibe, which is so horrible no, it's, about... It's, it's yes and no. I, I want it, but I can't do it. Prohibited. But I, but I want to. So, and I mean, many times I went as far as I could, because it kept getting better. And you were with people that you could say, no, that's where I would define the line. I'll do this, because I've done it. Do you want to have sex tonight? Okay, well, I don't think I want to do oral, but I want to do this. You, you say what you want to do and what you don't want to do, and that's so rare that we teach kids how to do that. I, I couldn't do it until I became a professional teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and then I could tell people how to do it. Once you can give yourself pleasure, your own orgasm, then you can share that with somebody else, and that's when you can give consent. But first you have to consent to yourself that you want to discover yourself and your own pleasure. That's okay. That's fine. I love it. <laughs>